Hey, good evening. Uh, this meeting of the Baltimore County Agricultural Land Preservation Advisory Board is now in session. We are your volunteer representatives appointed by the county executive and confirmed by the county council to advise on matters involving agriculture and agricultural land preservation. We review and recommend on issues relating to existing and prospective Maryland Agricultural Land Preservation Foundation easements. Additionally, we make recommendations to the county on agricultural zoning issues, other issues relating to agriculture and on county agricultural easements. Would the board members please introduce themselves by name and farming affiliation? My name is Berryman and I'm a corn and grain farmer in Upper Co. Maryland. Holly Gilmore, equine. Uh, Scott Welsh, nursery, White Marsh. I'm not sure if we haven't heard from him actually, so I'm not sure if he's um Brenda, are you on yet? No, she's not on yet. It's just, uh, I'm messaging Steve now. Uh, I'll introduce myself. I'm Megan Benjamin Staff. You can go around. Joe Wiley, Staff. And David Birkenthal, Staff. And Nancy West from the County Attorney's Office as counsel to the board. Brenda, is that you? Yes, Brenda Sturmer. Okay. Our board, farmer. Yeah, I just got on. Okay. We also have Ann Roan, our Community Planning Division Chief, with us tonight. We have uh, Jim Enzer from the Soil Conservation District and Erica Crowell from uh, Extension. We just need to make sure that we got Steve on here um, eventually. So I'll continue to try to reach him, but we can continue. We have a quorum. Okay. And I'm sorry, I was muted, Megan. I said, I'm here I am, Ann Ryan, but. Thanks, Ann. Yeah, call on Megan for any change to today's agenda. No changes, um, we will. Um, we will take the agenda slightly out of order than it's listed. We'll move the Frank item to last so that um, the, the board members that are recusing themselves from that issue uh, can still be on for the rest of the item. Okay, we'll move on to the uh, minutes of the June 9th meeting, 2021 meeting to uh, approve the minutes of that meeting. You all should have a copy of it. <clears throat> And uh, don't see any. Sorry, go ahead. I make a motion we approve the minutes. I hear a second on that. I'll second it, John. All those in favor of approving the June 9th meeting signify by saying aye. 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 Those. Okay, the minutes are approved at the June 9th meeting. Okay. Um, our first easement landowner request is from the Foster's Farm to, uh, I guess, take out the acre that their tenant house is setting on for the purchase of their easements on their farm. Uh, is, 
any information we need to know on that before we? Yeah. David, if you would just go back one slide. Uh, I'll mention the instructions for entering comments during the meeting. Uh, you can enter comments through the chat feature down at the bottom right hand side of your screen. Enter your name. Um, the meeting item that you're commenting on and the staff will read your comments uh, during that item. And then go ahead forward. So the uh, first item is regarding the application of the foster farm and the mouth 22 cycle. And they are withholding the one acre surrounding the tenant trailer. Um, it's the small orange box there along Miller Lane, as you can see um, on the screen. Same map was in your packet. And so we need the board's approval um, to send on of that withheld acreage for the purpose of the mouse. Any, any discussion from the board? Okay, hearing none, we need a uh, recommendation for the approval for withheld acreage and permitted use envelope request for their 2022 mouth application to take the uh, tenant house out of the easement. I make a motion we take the tenant house out of the easement. Okay, do you hear a second on that? I can second. Oh. All those in favor, if I was saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, the approval for the foster tenant house has been approved. Um, sorry, I see Steve is back. He was having trouble connecting his okay. audio. Steve, can you, um, are you connected yet? If you go down to the microphone button at the bottom of your screen, um, I think there's where you have the ability you can try and connect audio. Connect audio. That works. Otherwise, you might want to call in. Um, you can do that. We have to vote on the dot property or just mention it so it's in. Okay, um, we'll try to still get him on with audio. We want to move on. Okay, our next issue is we've already voted on the uh, approval of the three tenant houses on the dot dairy farm, uh, but we do need to uh, ratify the vote so we can get it in our records. So, do we just ask for a ratification vote? Yeah, so um, we sent this out as an email vote because it was time sensitive uh, for the mouth application. So, we just wanted to include it tonight. We have the Vote tally um, included. It was a unanimous vote of approval of designating the three houses on this property as tenant houses uh, for the dairy operation. So we just wanted to have a um, recommendation to um, ratify that vote to get it as part of the record. Okay, we just need a ratification of the of vote because it has already been approved. So. Is that is that like a motion? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, we need a motion on that ratification. I'll make I know some motion to accept the ratification. Okay, do we need a second on that? We need also we need a second on that, please. Second. Okay, all those in favor of the ratification, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed. Okay. That is the record now. And I guess we're going to skip down. We're going to do the Gerst next, correct? Okay, this is uh, 
the Lawrence Gersh property uh, on the bottom, is that Salem Bottom Road or just Bottom Road? Bottom Road, um, they are a, a requesting a, a tenant house. And uh, is there anyone there that would like to give a background on that or has information on that from the Gersh family? I'll actually take that first, then I do believe we have the Gersts um, on hand, so I'll give them, uh, let them have as much time as they need. Um, just quickly, uh, again, they're asking for a, a newly constructed tenant farm, a tenant house, as opposed to a pre-existing one that we've dealt with a few times in the past couple of months. Uh, so as a reminder to the board, a tenant house approval should be based on a legitimate legitimacy of farm use. Uh, meaning that the people who intend to live in the house are in fact um, tenant farmers and they're not renting right now to someone in that way. And then the need for the on-site tenant, uh, tenant house is the other requirement, meaning the scale, the operation, or the existing um, available workforce uh, that there is a need for tenant farmers. So the Gerst property, as we spoke about, and I'll move now to a map which we have available, if I can. There we go. Um, so the Gerst property is 50.23 acres over in Hyde, so eastern part of the county. Um, I was able to visit the property. It is currently under cultivation with what I believe to be soybeans. Um, it, it's soybeans. Uh, and there is an existing operation that is shifting to this property. Um, it is located in Perry, it was located in Perry Hall, but that farming operation will be shifting to this property. It's the same family. Um, the tenant, those that are going to occupy the tenant house uh, previously worked the other land and then are now going to move to this, which is also their family's property. Uh, the tenants are um, Beth Gerst and her family. Um, and then the owners of the property are her father and her uncle, uh, Charles and Lawrence. Uh, the operation was previously um, small animals and uh, things of that sort and the board has a few pictures which i um, did not include in this powerpoint uh, demonstrating that existing farm operation so that entirely will move to this new property and then in addition they are hoping to plant um, crops beyond soybeans um, such as grain uh, which i have described in the board packet as well uh, i'll note additionally uh, based on our soil analysis uh, these two locations that you can see that the uh, Gerst family proposed for the tenant house. Um, both are located on the least uh, prime soils, if you will, um, on their property. Um, they both just happen to be in that range. So there is a demonstrated um, desire to continue farming based on where these tenant houses are located. They're located in the parts of the property that would be the least detrimental to the farming operation. Um, given that and the requirements for the board to analyze and making this decision, I am recommending approval of either option A or option B for the tenant house. Uh, that's based on the demonstrated legitimacy of the farming operation. Um, the Gersts uh, will be the ones farming the entire land, and they will have indicated and shown sufficient evidence to suggest that they will be the ones living in this proposed tenant house. And then additionally, the scale of the farm, being that it is the farming operation will be the combination of two existing operations um, to the extent that, that is possible on a single piece of land. I would also suggest that the, uh, the new farming operation will uh, be they have a necessity for a tenant farmer as uh, is proposed by the applicants. Um, so I also would say that uh, to include in the approval from the board, uh, a request that the Gersts inform us uh, through staff, meaning myself, of which option they choose. They've proposed these two options for I'm not exactly sure where they need to put the tenant house quite yet, um, but we are able to grant them approval as long as they come back to us and tell us which one they ended up choosing. So that's either option A or option B. Um, at this point, I would, unless anyone on the board has a question, I would open it up to the Gerst family, who I believe are on the line. Um, does anyone from the board have a question? Uh, just a, uh, John, uh, it, how much of the ground is tillable? The entirety of this. So you can see in this small corner here, but I would uh -huh. say over 90%. Um, when okay. I was at, uh, at the property, it was fairly clear that the entirety of this property was under cultivation. And what kind of uh, crops would they be growing if they? Uh... 
currently the um, ground is under it is soybeans and they informed me i apologize to the girls because i don't have that information available they suggested that they would be um i'm sorry uh, perennials and hay is granted the Santa house in addition to soybeans. Um, so that sort of operation, I, I think I mentioned grain earlier and that was mistaken. I'm, I'm sure they'll, uh, they'll answer those questions when they get right. in. The and I so see, Beth, I see Let's Beth is on the line, so I can. Okay. Let's hear from the Gers family. Hi, can you hear us? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. What questions did you have? Uh, what kind of crops would you be growing on your tillable land? Well, I need a home for my miniature horses, goats, chickens, and then I want to grow hay for them and hopefully have more hay than I need so I can sell that. And then I have a greenhouse that I'd like to put up to grow perennials or maybe jumpstart some vegetables because mm -hmm. my dad used to do the produce markets and I love doing them. So I would love to get back into them. So grow different produce and hay. Even look into. Be, will you still be ahead. farming your other land that you had before? The farm in Perry Hall is being sold. Okay, I just so, actually, I just answers my question. Yeah, so this will be our our only farm until we find another one. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, do you have any more comments? Does the board have any questions? If you want to mention Lawrence's age and that. Oh, well, we were looking. The house that's on the property would need extensive renovations because my dad is 90 and my uncle's 85 this week. And we need a handicap accessible home for mm -hmm. them. So we were thinking a tenant house may be the more feasible way to go so that we could all live together because right now we pretty much my husband and i come over and take care of them every day mm -hmm. doing whatever they need that they can't handle okay uh well then i guess we're ready for a motion we, to approve uh, a construction of a tenant house on the curse property Do i hear a motion i'll make a motion john a tenant house. Yeah, I need a second on that. Okay, second. Okay, all those in favor of approval of a tenant house on the Gers farm, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, passed. Okay. Right, thank you. Thank you. We approve. And Gurst family, if you're still there, um, we'll be back in touch with you in the next couple of days to talk about next steps. Can we just check that Steve is on and has audio capabilities now? I can hear you, but you can't hear me. And then we do. <laughs> Heard you then, Steve. I've uh, been here, John. But uh, I hear you guys fine. You guys are crystal clear, but I, my audio is not not there. We have you now. Stars are not aligned. <laughs> uh, okay, our next I mean, issue. Oh, go ahead, Steve. Uh, I mean, I, I I I approve the motion. But I also okay. made the motion, and, and and then somebody else made it, and then I second the motion of the person that <laughs> made the motion again. So, and I voted, you know, for it. So, that's that's my record. We're good. Thank you, Steve. Good Thank to you, hear John. You. Good to hear you. Okay, we need to talk about the Raymond and Sandra Frank uh, issue over uh, parking. So, is right. there any members that have to be? from this so I believe that um and Holly are recouping themselves from this item and if that is correct um you both are free to leave okay that is so correct to come back in later or what 
Uh, no, that's the last item. Uh, there are no further announcements other than the next meeting is scheduled for August 11th. Okay. Well, we don't need to come back in. Okay. That's good. Thank you. Okay. Uh, request from the uh, Raymond and Sandra Frank is for the approval of uh, expanded parking for a special event for July 16th, 17th, and 18th. And uh, we're asking for five and a half acres. I wish it uh, would qualify as tier two ag related event and thus requires ag board approval since the requested parking is greater than two acres. Uh, in my recollection, personally, I kind of remember that in the original agreement, when it was a special event, that they could expand their parking. Now, whether they could expand it to 5.5 or not, I don't know that detail, but I do remember. In the original approval of the property that on special events they could expand their parking yes so uh i guess is there any information you need to add well i'll just, I'll just go through this for the record okay um, so uh, as we all know this property is subject to a county ag easement um, that the Franks we acquired from the Franks in 2002. And as John mentioned, the Franks are requesting review of an event planned for this weekend, July 16th through the 18th. Uh, they detail the event and the request in their letter, which was uh, provided to the board. A copy of the state's approval was requested for the event, and we just received a copy of their permit issued today from the state. Um, for this event. Um, for the event, the Franks are requesting an area, as you can see on your screen there, which measured to be approximately five and a half acres. And as John mentioned, under the guidelines, qualify this as a tier two event. So that's why the Ag Board is uh, hearing this request. Uh, since the guidelines require that the board review any special event parking that is greater than two acres. And in addition, according to the guidelines, the event must be farm or forest related. The number and the frequency and the scale of events are as limited by the Maryland brewery license uh, that the Franks have and the special exception order from 2017 and are to be consistent with the scale of the brewery operation and the area's rural character. And um, also as part of the guidelines, if impacted, any farm or forested area must be maintained or restored to its original condition. So the board is being asked to review uh, this request and the event and confirm that it is farm or forest related and to review the requested parking area. The, um, so I'll mention that the, um, it's my understanding that the event was originally advertised to be 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. And then um, that is my understanding that they have changed and could be in compliance with the 2017 order. Um, one of the stipulations was that the event, a special event, can be from only from noon until 10 p.m. So the price can confirm that those are the hours of this event. Um, and that's, that's all I have. In the original agreement, the um, expanded parking for special events, was, was that limited to a certain amount of acreage? So that would be from the um, guidelines, the mouth guidelines. Yes. Uh, there is no noted Right. Okay, well, I need uh, comments from the board for discussion. So basically, uh, what's in a, the yellow border is 
the parking area, the area they want to use for parking for this event, which encompasses like five and a half acres. Right. So and within that, there's the red border, which is the original two acres that mm -hmm. was for parking. Well, the, what is in the red is what the Ag Board approved, subject to a number of conditions uh, right. at the main meeting. So not right. really relevant to this request other than just showing that area. Yeah. Well, I mean, um, I don't have a problem with it. It falls yeah. within the, the what we agreed to with them in the, in the original agreement. Exactly. A special event that they could expand their parking. This is right. totally different than what we've been talking about though. For their regular weekend events, this yeah. is a special event, so we're still back to where we were between the Franks and the zoning board as to what's going to happen on a quote unquote regular weekend. But as far as a special event weekend, which this is, uh, I think this falls within. I mean, I, I don't see a problem with it for a special event. But that's right. as far as I say. I mean, once we, uh, we get back to the regular weekends, then uh, I'm afraid it, it comes down to the Franks and the zoning board. They're going to have to decide what they're going to allow them to do. Right. But in my my view, that, that we should approve uh, this event parking for this special event for this coming weekend. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me let me unmute the Franks. Okay. Uh, Ryan, are you there? Yep, we're here. No, we're good to go. Um, we're excited. Thank you. Does the board have any questions for the Frank? No. Could you confirm that the hour, uh, what the hours of the event are? Twelve to ten. And. Um, so, no other questions for the Franks from the board. So, I will mention, uh, we did receive a set of comments um, that was distributed to the board on Monday. And there are some comments coming in that I will share. Uh, so, from Mark Dashel. For the peace and well-being of the community, please limit the size of the event to a maximum of 300 cars at any one time, and please place a restriction that there be no amplified music that is audible on properties other than 2800 Moncton Road. Uh, there's also a question of, does this count as one event or three? I, I remember seeing somewhere that an event was a weekend event. Now, whether it's three days or not, but I remember seeing somewhere an event was a was could have been a weekend. Yeah. I just I don't have that in writing in front of me, but I kind of recall that. Um an event, from my recollection, can be three days, and that comes from. If I'm not mistaken, I believe it is the brewery law. Because mouth doesn't have that listed. In the in the permit from the. Commission uh, Comptroller's office. It did have all three dates on one permit. So that make it one event. Okay, any more comments from the board? For or against either one? 
uh, like I said, it, uh, I, I look at it as one event, not three. Okay, so as, one permit, as one permit. Um, you know, they are, in this case, they are selling, there's some produ product being sold. Well, the um, basic is they're, they're being paid like for products off their farm. Yeah, that, right. that's, that, so there, it, it comes off, and after selling any beef or not, that right. comes off their farm. But the, the, the whole idea of the beer was that, you know, the hops and other products that right. make the beer are grown on the farm. You know, that, that, they, right. they got, so all we have to do is approve this expanded parking for this special event special three-day event. So right. I don't hear any more discussion. I guess we're ready for a motion. This is Brenda. I make a motion we approve the event for the expanded parking. The expanded parking for the event. Okay, I need a second. Uh, this, is, uh, this is Steve. I second that. Okay, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Okay, opposed. Okay, the motion carries. Um, begging your indulgence, Mr. Chairman, I just for the record, because I was doing some quick research under the um, alcoholic beverages um, section of the Maryland Annotated Code, specifically section 2-140, it states as far as duration that a single special event may not exceed three consecutive days. So perhaps that's what you were thinking of with regard to a Thank single event. Much. and. Thank I apologize. You. I had to took me a couple of minutes to put my hands on that, but um, that Thank is you. under section 2-140 brewery special event permit um, effective May 18th, 2021 um, under the Maryland um, code alcoholic beverages. So just wanted to share that with you, sir. Good, good information and thank you very much. Okay. Uh, and the next thing is the status of easement transactions, inspections, et cetera. Um, nothing new to report there, Joe and David have done a fantastic job in getting all of the mouth required um, monitoring for this year completed by the end of June and have submitted those reports. Uh, we have uh, um, uh, additional inspections due by the end of the year for the county and the federal programs. Um, no new, no nothing new to report as far as status of transactions. And as we already mentioned, the uh, next meeting will be in August. Thank you, everyone. It will be a live meeting, correct? Uh, to be confirmed. To be confirmed. Possibly you will have to get your car. Awesome. <laughs> okay, the All meeting right. is adjourned. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Thank you, John. See you, Steve. See you, John. <laughs>